unusual journey, unusual tools, hoping that the wheel would weave wonders and the needle would match the alacrity of thoughts, knowing very well that there could be some acid test too. But then, come what may, a resolve is a resolve. For him, embarking on unusual has been usual. If you want to know about Jashpal from me, I'll say he's an excellent artist. He has his own technique. Uh, India, we have lots of problem uh, to take the prints and all, but we manage somehow. And he does it so nicely and so professionally. I don't have to say anything. Although I have done a little bit of graphic prints and I got National Academy Award for that, but uh, I will still say I don't know what he knows. And uh, I got to know Yashpal, who is a very, very skilled and very professional printmaker. Studied in Shantiniketan um, under a lot of uh, masters and who is doing great work in the field of printmaking. And uh, I have visited his uh, studio uh, many times when he asked me to do uh, some, you know, prints. Yashpal is very, very meticulous, very, very nice to work with him. And he showed me how to, you know, do, how to stop acid biting and all kinds of technical things. Uh, so far, uh, two, three, a large one and mostly uh, black and white uh, I have done and it's really, I have enjoyed uh, doing works with him. Indeed, now a sensible name in art circles, Yashpal has covered many a difficult terrains to reach here. Gaining strength from every stumbling block has been his way of life. Hurdles hardened his resolve and cemented his creative cravings. In fact, being different and dreaming differently has been his childhood passion. Realities were not lost on him. He was aware of his being from one of the most underdeveloped regions of the country. But at the same time, he also knew that opportunities galore and India is open for him. Question was how to catapult oneself from an innocuous village in Chhattisgarh onto the national canvas. He grew and so grew the confidence. For him, need to be innovative has been a long discovered fact. But hows and whys kept bothering him all along and he continued his search to satiate himself. As they say, if there is a will, there is a way. And soon, Yashpal found his perfect jumping boat out here at Shanti Niketan, an institute that tames the agitated mind and gives order to disorderly imaginations. Obviously, this precisely was the purpose of Bindranath Tagore to synchronize the energies of the country's youths. Yashpal too found Shanti at Shanti Niketan. As the time passed by, here his mind too got molded to master the destiny, a desired destiny. But as the person like him should have been, his desires for innovativeness got further flipped and soon Yashpal decided to opt for an offbeat and finally the art etching got etched on his mind and on heart too. For he found etching different and fascinating. Though many ancient Indian lost art forms have regained their past glories, yet etching was strutting and this bothered Yashpal the most. Choosing etching had a definite purpose, for in his scheme of things, this almost lost ancient Indian art tradition had to flourish. After all, etching is an Indian art form whose existence can be traced back to Vedic cages. But unlike past, the present-day etching has taken many a twist and turns. As in ancient India, natural colors and processes were used for the etching purposes. Now, the same have got replaced with modern mechanized chemical process. At present, Yashpal lives in Delhi and works in India. Shanti Niketan had given his artistic mind a fresh impetus and turned him into a man ready to face the toughest challenges. 
hard way was definitely ahead and so was the resolve a peep at the process is enough to have an insight about the arduous efforts like other artistic expression etching too is immensely time consuming in the present day process of getting the printing out is called intaglio it's a long drawn process first and foremost is the preparation of the base of plate made of zinc metal all the corners of the plate is rubbed to attain the desired shape having done now the plate is ready for the next step which is the act of hard grounding the plate now this plate is canvas of an artist on this part of the plate imagination take their flights and here only this needle acts as his engraver imaginations flow and get transformed into the desired figure to avoid any acidic harm to the back of the plate it is covered with an anti acid substance and this ultimately would help safeguard the back from getting eroded with desired etching completed the plate is ready for the next process which is dipping in acid for the sake of giving prominence to the etched figure and to attain the wanted the process out here too is no less care commanding actions out here involve extremely soft and soothing hand movements obviously for managing the bubbling particles in the acid process softest possible bird feathers are used this process demands controlled hand movements with immense patience after having attained the art on the plate comes the next step of degreasing the plate by washing it with water and kerosene and now the plate is dried and further treated with the resin dust so that the resin gets fixed and once the plate is heated like this the figure shape remains intact figure fixed now comes the step of rewashing the plate for removing post heat residuals from the plate This process of etching with mechanized electric needle demands focused approach for it is highly controlled and coordinated act mind and machine work in tandem etching goes on as the thoughts move Now the etching is ready for reward and for getting the final print even the paper is given a definite treatment Graphic is a very strenuous process, and it's labor. You need concentration. You need patience. When you have the acid bite, when you uh, 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 wipe it with the feather gently, you know it needs all this needs patience, care, and tenderness. Jashpal Chandrakar is a very dear friend. He's a very good artist, and he has made many of my editions. Many of my plate I wouldn't have. Done any edition if Yashpal was not there. When somebody comes to buy my work, if they buy a drawing and graphics, I respect them more. And so, but people want uh, there's a mindset that this oil ka hai, this long-lasting paper is not long-lasting. And I love doing graphics. I don't get much time. And uh, it is Yashpal who did my editions. That's how some of my plates got there to see the light of the day. Mm -hmm.